I was able to capture many spectacular blooms on camera for this program. On the tour, we saw the beautiful pine hyacinth, a native wildflower with a delicate purplish-pink bell-shaped flower. It's endemic to Florida and found in pineland habitats in the central and southern parts of the state. We also saw the ladies' tresses, a very ornate wildflower with a spiral of tiny white flowers flowing down and around its green stem. This wildflower is actually an orchid and the lovely yellow colic root with its many tubular yellow flowers on its long spike-like stalk. This wildflower gets up to three feet tall and grows throughout Florida. Paul, you're very active with helping people to learn about Florida wildflowers through your What's Blooming tour that you give once a month here at Tosahatchee State Park. What do you do with people on that tour? Well. We come out here uh, once a month on a second or a third Saturday uh, between February and November and we try to find what's blooming at that time and help people identify them and learn about the uh, flowers that are not only here but that they can transfer to other areas that they might visit. So it's wildflowers that grow at this particular park but a lot of them grow throughout the state? Absolutely. You have this similar habitat in uh, other places. Uh, there might be some more or less of one particular species here that might not be in another area, but uh, yes, they grow in other places. Hmm. In the winter, there's a certain type that pops up, such as the uh, what we call carnivorous flowers. Um, that, and those are uh, flower sets. What does that mean? That means uh, insectivorous is probably more a correct term. They don't go around eating raccoons and animals per se. It's just uh, there are plants that are attracted, uh, attract insects, and they are absorbed into the plant oh, in various methods goodness. through chemicals. Hmm. Of all the states, Florida has the largest number and diversity of insectivorous plants. Some of the insectivorous plants we observed on Paul's What's Blooming tour were the yellow butterwort. This plant has a single yellow flower and is common on wet sites. Its sticky basal leaves trap insects that are then absorbed, providing needed nitrogen to the plant. The yellow butterwort is listed as threatened in Florida. The hooded pitcher plant is another insectivorous plant we observed on the tour. It's the most common and widespread of our pitcher plants. Its beautiful pale yellow flowers look like tiny umbrellas. Insects become trapped in its hollow hooded leaves and are then digested. Another one is a sebacea. Early on we've seen Savacia grandiflora, which is a five-petal pinkish flower. Right now, this time of the year, there's a whiter version of that. The narrow-leaf sebacea, or the sebacea brevifolia, is coming up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of times you see different species, different colors. Milkweeds are also a very interesting and beautiful wildflower we saw on Paul's What's Blooming tour. They're not only popular with people, but popular with our native pollinators. Pollinators which include butterflies, bees, moths, skippers, wasps, and other insects are having a hard time surviving in Florida. Studies show their numbers are decreasing due to factors such as human demand for land and our increased use of insecticides. That's why plants that support our native pollinators are vital to Florida's future ecological health. Milkweeds are one of those species of plants.